Hello and welcome back to the channel. The bag of a doctor contains many useful things that you need in the day-to-day -day life of a doctor. And today I'm going to be going through my doctor's bag. Now this is a completely original idea. It's not like other doctors slash YouTubers have done this before, uh, have they? For those of you that are new, my name is Kieran. I'm a junior doctor and a comedian working in Manchester. I'm training to be a GP. I'm in my final year of GP training now. And we have seen my sort of progress through this, through these YouTube videos. As a GP, you use your bag for a ton of things, in particular, home visits. Now, home visits I have found really strange. It is such a bizarre thing to actually go and do. Because as a doctor, as a GP, you go into someone's house who can't make it out the house, but who needs a doctor's appointment. Now, there's been very few times in my life as a doctor I've actually been to visit people at home so it's a surreal experience but when you do that you need to make sure you've got all of the kit you actually need for that so let's dive in first off we're going to start with the actual bag itself this is a duffel bag from Fossil and the reason I love this bag is because it looks like an old school sort of doctor's bag it's got a ton of space it's got loads of pockets not only that it opens in this crazy cool way where it opens with a huge mouth and because of the fact it opens like this that means that when the bag is open, you can see pretty much everything that's inside. So my bag is a mess like my life, but if I want something and I open it up, I can immediately see it and take it out. I'm gonna blur this because that's a spoiler. So yeah, got this bag from Fossil, obviously on sale because I'm brown. Absolutely love it, served me very, very well. Loads of pockets, loads of zips. Now let's dig inside. All right, the first thing we've got is my stethoscope. This stethoscope is the 3M Lippmann Classic to SE. Now, I've no idea what those um, numbers and letters mean. It's the Lippmann Classic 2. Now I think they sell a Lippmann Classic 3. I don't think you can get this one anymore. But this was all of the rage when I was at med school. This was the stethoscope that literally everyone was buying. It's, it's even engraved. I've got Kira Majaria written in it. I got this when I was at med school. I got it in this sort of copper brown color. The cool thing about these stethoscopes is that you can switch from the diaphragm, which is that end, to the bell, which is this end, just by turning it like that. And so many times I've put it on someone's chest and I've thought, I can't hear anything, but actually I've got, I've got it on the wrong side. It's got obviously the ear pieces, which sort of clip in together like this. It's not a cheap piece of kit, but you can tell the difference when you use a decent stethoscope compared to one of those cheapy ones that you get from basically party packs. Everyone when I was at med school had this stethoscope pretty much this exact stethoscope in different colors except from one of my friends who accidentally bought a cardiology specialist one um, and that was really funny I mean I can't wear this for the whole video can I all right so next I'm carrying some alcohol gel when you go to people's houses you can wash your hands there or you can just gel them up this is the worst alcohol gel it kind of leaves this sticky residue on your hands but um, yeah I need to get some more to be honest now I've got this bad boy, which is my brawn thermometer. I use this pretty much every day. I was going to say if there's a piece of kit I'm using the most in this, it's the stethoscope and the thermometer because you actually need to tell if someone objectively has a temperature. When someone tells you they're feeling warm, they feel like they might have temperatures, this is going to tell me if they do or not. It comes with these little disposable nibs. Uh, so pop it off, nib on, into your ear, and there you go. You've got someone's temperature. Oh, and this is a fancy piece of kit. You may recognize this box because this is my dermatoscope. Now, dermatoscope is a device that uh, doctors use to look at skin lesions. So dermatologists use this, GPs who are into dermatology use this, and I did a dermatology job, if you remember, vlog over here somewhere. And so if something is maybe cancerous, maybe not cancerous, you can have a look and you can get some more information about it. It's obviously by Heine, who are the inventors of the dermatoscope. I've got a ton of Heine kit because they make really good quality kit and also because they're friends of the channel. This is the Heine Delta One, an absolute beast of a dermatoscope. And what makes this different to other ones is that it literally fits in your pocket. You could fit that in your pocket. This can go everywhere with you. Really, really portable. Absolutely love it. Flicks from polarized to non-polarized light. Has got this LED HQ that Heine have that, you know, makes everything super clear, super bright. He says as he struggles to get it back in the case. All right, now I have got some urinalysis testing strips. 
So really common thing that comes to GPs is urine infections. So you need to be able to test urine if you're on a home visit or if you're in the practice. And one of the things I do with this bag actually is that yeah, I take it away with me on home visits, but I also keep it by the foot of my seat where I'm sitting doing my clinic because if I need any kit from it, it's literally just there. I can grab it from my bag, use it, and at the end of the day, I'll put it back in the bag so it's all in one place. So if someone uses my room that I'm in or if I'm moving to a different room, at least they then like I've got all of my same kit. Urine testing strips, testing for things like infection, like glucose, like blood glu glucose or blood in the urine. That means I should also have a urine pot somewhere here. Okay, I, I don't know what it is. I think I may have used it on one of my last visits and now it's no longer in the bag. So I need to get another one of those. But I normally carry around a little urine pot with me. So if someone has having urinary symptoms, I can get a urine sample from them and test it. I also carry a little stool pot with me as well, which is like this blue pot with a little spoon. You have to explain to people how to use them. So many times I've had people trying to poop in that little pot, but actually that's not what you're meant to do with it. You're meant to poop in the bowl, on some paper, use that little spoon to put it in the pot. Do not poop in that pot. Okay, next up we have got my ophthalmoscope. Now this is the Beta 200S LED ophthalmoscope by Heine again, who are, again, they make really, really good quality kit, kit that lasts. Disclaimer, they did send me a couple of pieces for free, including this one and the uh, otoscope as well, not to keep, but just to check out. And I've been using it for a while and um, I absolutely love it. Oh, that is a satisfying click. That's cool, isn't it? The reason that these are cool is because they are made in Germany, it's a German company, and it's all made top to toe of um, metal, so especially the base. So it's very hard wearing compared to some of these other bits. And I found that it's just very, very bright compared to some others. They've got this special viewing system that separates the line you're looking at from the line of the light, which means you get less glare and less reflection, which makes it really useful. As well as that, of course, you've got the LED HQ that you have with the dermatoscope as well, which means that you're getting more natural, brighter color than you would do otherwise and you're not getting these sort of blues and whites artificial colors that you do with other lights. So you may be getting more true appearance than you would do with something else. So I can change the head of this device to the uh, otoscope part of it. So otoscopes are for looking in people's ears. That was also very satisfying. Um, this otoscope, again, super bright, 4.2 times magnification, has got this little flippy bit here. They also have these disposable tips that are recyclable and I think they're one of the only companies that have completely recyclable disposable tips for the otoscope. So when you use this to look in someone's ear, you put a little tip on it and you have a look inside. So really, really cool. So a really cool piece of kit to add to my collection from Heine. Next up, we've got a little bag in which I'm carrying all of my venipuncture kit. So sometimes when you go out on a home visit, you need to take someone's bloods and to do that, you're gonna need some blood bottles, you're gonna need something to clean the skin with, you're gonna need a tourniquet, I use a butterfly needle to take blood. So everything I could need to take blood is in this little case, along with a fresh pair of gloves. And I keep that topped up in case I ever need it. Then I've got a blood pressure cuff. Now blood pressure cuff doesn't come with me everywhere, especially because it's quite heavy. Um, this is an Omron one. It's just one I'm borrowing from the practice that I just use day to day if I'm ever there. Um, it's got a uh, cuff that you can actually swap out. So if you've got a smaller patient or a bigger patient that needs a different size cuff, you can swap that one out as well. I feel like we're almost coming to the end. I have got a little oxygen saturation probe, especially in COVID times. Ooh. It beeped. Um, especially in COVID times, what they were doing is giving a lot of these to patients uh, so they could check their oxygen levels if they had COVID. Um, and so the practice had a ton of these and so I'm borrowing one to use and it's taking its time to check my oxygen sats. Um, but it, it does work intermittently, although I probably need to invest and get my own at some point. And then finally, we have got a little blood glucose monitor. So this is from T2. I've got a little um, lancet, I think they're called, which um, can create a finger prick. And then I can use uh, the little testing strips here in that little machine, and I can check someone's blood glucose when I am out and about. That's pretty much it. There's some other bits and bobs in here, like a kidney dish, a, pair, a spare pair of gloves in case I'm running out, um, an apron, a few chargers for some different things, 
like uh, the devices I've got and a couple of forms. I don't think that's that interesting, but I've got a form for uh, bloods. So if I've done some bloods on someone and I want to send them off, um, pop them in here so they're nice and secure. And I've got a stool sample. I like that. I'm surprised that things are coming out of the bag. I've got a little uh, FIT testing kit. So FIT is fecal immunochemical testing and it's what you use to check for um, any blood in feces that can't be seen by the naked eye. So it's one of the ways we're using early detection for things like bowel cancer. So I carry one of those around as well. So I can hand that out to someone. It's got loads of instructions on it too. And finally, a random little swab that I might use to swab something. That guys is everything that is in my doctor's bag. Let me know what you thought. First of all, how much stuff have I managed to fit in this bag? I think that's a lot, to be fair. I think that's a lot of stuff. Big thanks to Heine for sending me so many things to check out. I genuinely think their products are good, which is why I keep using them. Let me know if there's anything you think is missing from the bag, and I'm more than happy to add it. I have got some extra space. Or if there's anything that was surprising to you, drop it in the comments and let me know. Take care guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe if you're new to follow my life as a doctor and I will see you in the next one.